Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Kingmaker. Last time we explored all around the, the land, trying to find Tusk Gutter's lair. And to be fair, we knew where it was, it just took a bit of time getting there. We've had some random encounters along the way, we've found a fragment of some relic or artifact, and now we're going to press on towards where the foul beast is known to make its hiding. Now, amiri has been looking forward to this for a long time. In fact, she's probably pissed off we've taken so long getting here, but finally, this should be something she gets to enjoy. It's just like playing Evil Islands all over again, but with only one boar this time instead of many. Those boars were insane. All right. This is Tusk Gutter's Lair, where we can expect to encounter the one and only Tusk Gutter. We should also search around for anything else we may find. So, here we are, and the monster is here, and now I'll tear him apart. Yes! Just watch me! <laughs> are you scared? What? Uh, who? Me? Amiri blushes, then pales, then bursts out laughing. <laughs> You're funny! Am I scared of some pork chop? She falls silent with a smile, shaking her head. She clears her throat. There's a custom where I come from. A boy kills a monster in front of the elders to prove he's a man. <laughs> That's funny. In our parts, boys must do something rather different to become men. A merry frozen angry glance at the half-elf and Octavia falls silent, but her teasing smile remains. The barbarian clears her throat in hesitation. In our tribe, girls don't get no initiation at all, so I arrange my trial myself, like in a song about Kagul the Orphan. I downed a cave lion in a single combat. Here, see the scars I got in that battle? And do you know what my elders did after I threw the lion's skin in their feet? They probably didn't take you very seriously. In fact, I should imagine they invoked some kind of technicality and declared your invitation, your initiation invalid. Yeah, I wish. They laughed in my face. They said I scratched my belly myself and hired some man to kill the lion for me in trade for... Ugh. Later they agreed my initiation, of course. They had no choice, but... Amiri's voice wavers in anger and she spits on the ground. Must you really slay him in single combat? It'll take a whole party to bring this tusk gutter down. From a distance, Amiri examines tusk gutter's muscular body and sharp tusks. Bah! You don't think I can't pinch a pig by myself? Though if the elders saw the beast was about to kill the boy, they would have helped him. There's no shame in that, but it doesn't matter. I'm just saying! Now, you stand and watch me gutting the beast! Well, let's see how it goes then. Goran, watch me! Well, battle cry of a barbarian charges the boar. We don't even see the boar yet. She's in fucking deep shit. I'm going alone! Got it! Get angry, lady. We're actually going to be honourable. Octavia might not be honourable. She might enlarge her. Wait, does Amira have potions? <laughs> she does, but... Drink a potion and make her smaller. I don't think she'd actually approve of that. But what she can do is drink the potion of bark skin. Tear them apart! Yeah, you're going down, girl. What the fuck are you lot doing? No! This is a matter of honour. Do not interfere. She wants to solo this thing, she can. She wants to die. She can do just that. This won't 
killed me. Uh, she could drink a potion, or she could just keep fighting. I always survive. All right, now we all kill it. Bloody hell, this thing hits hard. Let's see if the game's on Power Gamer mode again. Right, you. Kill like her. Do you have anything yet? Oh yeah, you do, look at that. Uh, throw an array of frost, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, that was rubbish. Okay. Such attacks are easier. Who the hell is sneak attacking? Oh, Octavia, of course, because she's within 30 feet. Got it. Uh, throw in another magic missile. You heal an ally. We can do it! Minus 12. Yeah, okay, look, that could be bad. Um, could you, like, get over here a bit? Same goes for you. Right. Channel positive energy again. And then you go healer. Who the hell sprayed... 15 damage to Valerie. Okay. Healer again. Now we want to be careful with channeling energy because it will heal Tusk Gutter, but we do want to prevent allies from perishing. Man, this thing's hard. Okay, last spot of healing on her. Okay, Amiri, wonder what's going on, hobble back, and then maybe you'll realize the error of your ways. Right. Did we have telekinetic fist? Okay, well it's worth a shot. Lindsay, if you could pull off that last magic missile there. You're not even inspiring eyes again. Breathing heavily, Amiri stands over the corpse of the fallen monster. What you say? See me in action? I almost chopped his head off! Yes! A real epic battle, just like one of the sagas! I won't even have to embellish it for the book! Uh, please don't make me do Lindsay's voice, it's really hard and painful, I have testicles. <laughs> That's it! Trial done! Now no one dares say Amiri is weak! She grins and thrusts her chest out. Is she blatantly ignoring how that thing dropped her hard and we had to go in and save her sorry ass? You're a valiant warrior. Where o were yeah. You're a valiant warrior. Were there truly fools who doubted your strength? Some did, you know. I spit on them. No one will dare bark at me now. Still, why did you want to Kill that monster. You passed that te test back when you were with your tribe, didn't you? Amiri's face reddens. Well, not just pups must pass the test. If a man is a newcomer to a tribe, he must bring a monster's hide. Prove he's not weak. Her voice trails off, then full silent. <laughs> ah... I don't like this whole tribe idea. I only helped you and you don't owe me anything, but, you know, in a way I'm honoured you consider me to be part of your new tribe. You're a strong and valiant, foolhardy, dim-witted warrior. Just don't start this, that, uh, uh, Amiri stops trying to choose the right words. Don't talk me about honour and valour. I know already. She frowns and turns away. Still, I owe you thanks. You are a true. You have a true chief's heart. You know what? If we meet another monster like this, I'll kill it too. 
No, not not for a test. Just, just that nobody would ever dare say Amiri isn't a warrior. You know. It's like fucking. It's like it's like Minsk with sexism. Is bothering you? Head on. Blessing of the faithful, supernatural ability. I'm not sure I know that one. I have to look into it. Okay. Supernatural ability. Why does he have a supernatural ability? Why does he? Hmm. Hope it's a domain power. What domains does he have? He has good and... Domain selection, domain selection, what domains does he have? Domain mastery. Ah, yeah, f primary and secondary, right, yeah, okay. Good, and what is his other domain? <laughs> it won't tell me. That is really weird. Okay. I mean, he is a casting cleric to stand at the back and not get into too much trouble. Um, blessing of the faithful. It's two. As I said, uh, sick of personal attack rolls going to change. So I'm just checking if they're actually the same. Same, but am I getting duplicate bugs here again on character sheets because the game's paused or something weird? I don't know. The vile tusk gutter is no more. Oh yeah, we were going to do some problem. healing. Um, Eleven! He is level three, that is technically possible. Okay. Go on, Amiri, do what you can. Um... Tusk Gutter's head. Seems to be a magic item. I don't know why. But I shall search the area and see if I can find anything else to interact with here. Any Dryad's tokens, any fragments of broken necklaces, or anything else of that matter that may be valuable. If it is, it's probably in the middle of Tusk Gutter's lair where someone who carried it here might have died. But let's just see. Those are some big ass rib cages. And there's a dead body. Let's go look at the dead body. One to find traps. That is extremely useful. I think it's a clerical spell. And a some honey. We now have honey. That's not what a natural beehive looks like, by the way. It's, it's not far off. It's like a, that's a sack, you know. Is there is there aught else out here that we can interact with? Anything, anything of value at all? We'll probably be doing some more healing before we leave the area. But I'm just having a little search around. I think. That was probably everything. Because the little things that can be interacted with are... You know, going to take some perception checks to find. Also, how are we doing for experience, by the way? We are very close to levelling indeed. Hmm... I think we've found everything here that we're going to be able to find at this point in time. So let's get back on the map after Adventures some healing. Yes. How may I help? We'll convert the bless because we have the blessing ring. And we'll get back on the road again. Oh, Lindsay, what are we going to do about you and your annoying voice? Oh, 
All right, it is getting late. I should probably just go wreck this tree. But here's the thing. This is where the Fangberry Cave is. And we don't... The Moon Radishes should be around here somewhere. I think. Ancient Obelisk. Um, I'm just thinking where they could be, because they're not far from here. We should also go visit that old oak that I wanted to visit, and this old oak here. We should look at these, because basically um, what I'm thinking is the spider cave, the... Um, I need to catch my breath. Yeah, alright, we're going to camp again, and this time we're going to hunt. Yep, that'll do. So, my my point is that the alchemist said the fangberries go off shortly after being picked, so we should probably get them last and get the moon radishes first if we can. May we have a moment of respite? Soon. We'll just go up to... I understand. Here. And then we'll camp. Hopefully we'll level soon as well. Okay, so we're doing okay for rations now. Next time we camp we won't use any. I mean, that's not a... Let's go look at this nice old oak tree. Yes, we will say hello to the old tree. Wherever it may be. Follow, 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 follow me to the greenwood, greenwood tree. Be the weather foul or fair, you will always find a welcome there. Was it you shall always find? Was it shall or will? I think it was shall, but I can't remember. I don't see this old oak tree yet. I suppose it's a. Bugger! 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 Okay. Shit! I shouldn't have come here. Right. Get that blessing up. We are in deep, deep doo doo. Larger Mary, she's stupid enough to do this. You, what do you have? Protection from communal. Yes, communal protection from evil. Right. You go nuts. We're gonna. This is gonna be really hard. Okay, right. Lindsay. Inspire courage and also magic missile. Yeah. Alright, look. Go heal her up. She should be dead from that. In fact, she might be dead. Yeah, she should be dead. Okay, well... In that case, she's shafted. We'll just try for one time anyway, just in case. Nope, okay. Right. I'm glad we got that signed stroll of Ray's dead. We're gonna need it. This is what happens when we accidentally walk up to a troll. Wait. Hideous laughter target is one creature, enemy creature. Yeah! 
Do we have a healing potion? We do. Just one. Right. Get him there with that cure mod. Okay. Um, I, I keep expecting uh, health level indicators of like injured, badly injured. It's like I'm playing Neverwinter Winter Nights or something. Right. Well, she's just dead anyway. Um, that doesn't look very dead though. Right. Yeah, just make it laugh. I won't give up. Right. Well, you don't need to give up, but you do need to start fighting really... Oh, you already are. That explains a few things. Right. Can it be oh, for God's sake. Right. Minus three... Give him a kill light. And be careful the troll has reach and oh god, she's going down soon as well. Right. Just Yeah, we're screwed. Okay, look, this is dead time. Yeah, please die, Lindsay. It's annoying, I know, but hey, troll, you're overpowered. Oh well, last save. Wish we'd never come in here. I wanted to see this old tree. Not a troll. <laughs> oh, game. Well, okay, apparently we don't need to go in there. Let's just not go there and go this way instead. <laughs> we can go I see that oak that strayed. I'm going to look so Why do you always get tired first? That's interesting. So also in the middle of the Maybe afternoon. have a moment of respite? Yeah, alright, look game. Now it's half eight in the evening, we will definitely be camping. Crikey. Tell you what, I do get carried away with this game and I'm, I'm sitting here going, I'm going to play like a 20 minute, 30 minute episode. I'll bring in the clock from the kitchen, even though it's about five minutes fast. It'll be the same time I start and the same time I finish on the clock. It'll be relative. And then I just play and I don't look at the clock and I'm just fully immersed and having lots of fun. Hunting took 17 hours. Good God. Well, that's obviously a problem then, isn't it? Let's go visit this oak tree. And if it's another troll, if they're just all trolls standing still pretending to be trees, that'd be horrific. Please be a real oak tree. That's not an oak tree! Insane drad, we're leaving. We don't need to be here. We, we just need to go somewhere where we can put our experience to good use. Maybe even just, I mean, like, we, we could go back to Oleg's and say, hey, look, we killed Tusk Gutter now, right? And that would be really good, but we do have a time limit to do things in. How's that going, by the way? Not that one, not that one. 55 days. So we're, we're almost at the halfway mark, and we have not explored half of the map. So where else could we go? So we know that the Brigand encampment should be, like, down here somewhere. And we don't know where Tartuccio's got to. Hmm. Well, that's all a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, let's see. Sure, 16 hours. We're probably going to end up resting before we get there. And not camping. I need to catch my breath. Yeah, all right. We will rest here. We will eat our own rations and not camp. And 
look, we can just do this again. That's great. That's grand. Hey, can we? We can. Wonderful. Now let's camp badly. Excellent sweet pancakes. Wonderful. Now let's go into Oleg's and then we'll be heading off down to there and I should check what time I started recording this episode. Which I will do just now in the background. I apologise for any awkwardness people. Shouldn't be a moment. But we can go and point out that Tusk Gutter has been dealt with. And... Okay, yeah, I've been recording about 25, 26 minutes, so I don't think we'll have time to go do the... Wait. Why is our entire is party... Oh, they... That was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. It is evening again, and we could rest again, but that might seem a bit much. Right, I believe it was Oleg to talk to about this. Tusk Gutter is dead! You can mount his head on the wall as a trophy. Oleg looks at the blood-stained boar's head with respect, touching its tusk with his, for with his finger to test how sharp it is. That's one hell of a beast! I'd love to have a trophy like that, but a deal is a deal. The head goes to old Benzen, and his bounty goes to you. 400 gold coins and a masterwork longbow. Well, Oleg, show me what you got for sale. Like, rations. Rations would be really nice. Also, hey, almost everybody's leveled. You know what? Uh, how are we doing for rations? Four. So we're looking at six. And six more. And then I'll actually check uh, cooking recipes at some point as well. Because butter's useful. Eggs, flour. What else do we need for pancakes? Is there an easy way of checking I mean I think this would be the place right uh, encyclopedia is there anything for cooking no well that's alright we'll do leveling that'd be a nice way to end the episode we have plenty of levels to distribute um Octavia doesn't get one yet, because she was a bit behind on the experience curve. Same for Rogongar. Valerie. We are looking at the Stort Defender Prestige class. Requires dodge and toughness, which I believe she already has. Uh, dodge, toughness, yes. Stick with her Tower Shield Fighter. In terms of skills, we're going to want more in athletics. Um... A bit in persuasion because she does like her manners. Right. Uh, exotic weapon proficiency, power attack. This is a general feat. We should get her endurance and die hard as soon as we can. Die hard should require endurance, and I don't know why it doesn't. So that's okay. Uh, armor training reduces the armor check penalty of any armor she's wearing. And this increases as she gains level. And instead of weapon training, she gets tower shield training, where the tower shield penalties get greatly reduced. So she just gets more and more used to using it. Okay. Right, Amiri, show what you are worth. What on earth? 
When Amiri heard about the giant wild boar terrorizing the area, she insisted that we could go directly to its lair and let her fight it one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, it wasn't simply that she wanted some bacon. In Amiri's tribe, a fight with a wild animal has a sort of initiation ritual, and a ritual for accepting a new member into the tribe. With the ritual complete, according to the customs of her people, she has shown herself a true warrior and the Baron, her new chief. I wonder if they use correct terminology there and use Baroness if we're playing a female character. I don't know. And that's not... This is going to squish up to... Because that's that was a bigger picture, right? As you see. So if they're going to get more things that add on to their story and progress, that's an interesting way of doing it. I didn't realise this was a... Ah, I see now. Okay. Well, she should have really had the invulnerable rager archetype. Let's be honest. It's the way she's playing anyway. Right. Give her one world, one nature, one athletics. Ugh. One mobility. Right, this level she's getting danger sense, which basically means she's a bit better at avoiding traps because she's just ready for anything to jump out of the wilderness and attack her at all times, unlike civilized folk. Right, weapon focus. She does refuse to use any other weapon, so letting her keep using her stupid giant oversized weapon, which she doesn't need, which she probably stole from a sleeping giant and brags and boasts about. She should not be allowed to take Die Hard without Endurance. She doesn't have Endurance, she could do it. It's a very nice feat to have when exploring the wilderness with all these people and 40 bloody one hit points. Yeah, she's going to get loads. And what have we got here? 17, 40, 41. Yeah, okay, okay. Now, Lindsay, you also gained a level. Now, we'll stick with Bard for now, because generally multi-classing weakens a caster, and a Bard is already a mid-caster, as it is with only six levels of spells. However... Right. Let's up that trickery, put a point in stealth, another point in mobility, uh, nature, world... Oh, there we go. Let's drop nature and put it in perception because that's a big skill for her right lingering performance so tempting is there a precise shot down here? I know precise shot requires point blank shot so let's see what else we can get um, deceitful would be a really good one for her persuasion and trickery but that doesn't really fit with her character especially as a shell knight as well so I'm really tempted to go dodge. Um, well, what else can we get? Her? I mean, persuasive would be the one to give her persuasion and perception. Sure. As I said, perception is a good skill for her. And a new level one spell. Um, <laughs> ignores it. So yeah, just drift across things. Flare burst which is similar to Flare, but it'd be a lot of creatures. That could affect allies as well, so that's not good. Grease, maybe. Haze Dreams, Hypnotism. Mm. Ingestion, 2d4, hit dice worth of creatures. With no maximum hit dice, but it will start off the lowest. That's tempting. It's Now, it's worth... Haze of, it's worth looking for enchantment spells in particular because she has the necklace that increases enchantment save DCs. Haze of Dreams, Fibonacci Awakened Dreams, Reminds of Pleasure. Uh, target moves at half its speed. Okay, so it slows the target down. Uh, Unbreakable Heart. So they tend to get stuck in when we get in a fight. Unbreakable Heart should be a Callistrian spell, I think. Oh, wait, no, it might not be. It was first in. The Inner Sea World Guide, I think. Kill like when she's already got these. Ah, okay, let's see. Right, so we are gonna go with hypnotism. 
There we go. And then, I believe it's just good old Keldrek Morden who needs to level. Who probably will not be getting 41 hit points, because he's just not been that lucky on the hit point front. But let's see what we can get anyway, okay? Anyway, he doesn't have toughness, so that's fine. Of course, as a Paladin of Torag, we'll be developing this class. We'll have a level 3 feat, Divine Health, so he's now immune to diseases of, you know, supernatural, magical diseases, mummy rot, stuff like that. Aura of Courage, he's also immune to fear, and any allies near him gain a plus 4 bonus on saving throws against fear. Uh, Mercy. Mercy's a great, by the way. As you're about to see. Right. Persuasion, up to push it up to a free. There's no sense motor skill. We should probably put another point in athletics just to be on the safe side. And into knowledge of religious things. Alright. A new feat at level 3. And a new mercy. Let's select that mercy. So, a mercy is when you use lay on hands, either the lay on hands self or lay on hands target, mercy is an additional effect that is removed. Okay? So we have fatigued, and there are chains of these, right? Uh, fatigued would mean that Amiri could get all puffed out after being berserk, and he could just relieve her condition so that she could go right in again. Uh, shaken, it's a fear condition. Sickened, it's basically what swarms do. Sickened is can you go, oh, I, I just can't, you know. And then sickened then goes to, I can't remember what it is, like, uh, fatigued goes to exhausted, goes to, but, but yeah, we're, we'll go with the fatigue for now because we have a barbarian in the party. And we'll also take this, uh, what do we want to take? We've already got endurance, so we want to take die hard. There it is. Dwarf mode. Yeah. I don't know why it's letting me take it without Orc Ferocity. Because it shouldn't need Orc Ferocity anyway. Orc Ferocity is just like... It's like um, requires endurance or Orc Ferocity. And the computer game just lets you take it at level 1, which is weird. So I'm not going to do that. But anyway. I've got it now. Yeah! 37. He doesn't have the three extra hit points from the toughness feat, which Amiri and Valerie have, so that would have put him on 40 as well. So I'm. The game is actually rolling the hit dice. It's just. It seems not to be rolling them. You know. And with that, finishing leveling, I think it's a good time to end the episode. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye bye for now, and. Cheerio, guys! <laughs>